I would like to say it here we are in Nandova shop. You are the best place in Manila to be here. If you want to feel like at home, here is the place. Because I've been here and then I feel like that's my home already. And then I would like to invite all of you uh, in Africans and all, all, all over the world to come here and feel at home. In Nandova, we show that's the place. <clears throat> all right, so for Black Asian Magazine, tell us, can you tell us where we are right now? Which city we are, which country we're in, and what place we're in right now? All right. Uh, right now we are in Nando Nando Barbershop, Manila. And then I'm just gonna you know, welcome you guys. And okay. How are you? Do you have any kind of information? So a big day to give you as well. All right. Thanks for sharing that. Now for the site for Black Asian Magazine, can you tell us your name? Uh, my name is uh, Dominique Melvin. Dominique Melvin. Yeah. Okay. And Dominique, where did you grow up? And tell us a little bit about the place where you live right now. Uh, I do grow up in Cameroon, probably in the French side, French side, Cameroon, French side, Cameroon. Cameroon. English side, and French side. But in French side, I grew up there. Uh, actually, I'm in Manila, mm -hmm. in the Philippines. Uh, and how do you like Manila? Exactly, I do. Yeah. And how long have you lived in Manila? Uh, I live in Manila probably nine months, right now going to 10. Okay, all right, okay. That's all right, so you got up and you moved from Cameroon to the Philippines. Yeah. What made you decide to get up and move in the first place? Uh, what made me decide to move? Because I want to try something new, you know. Mm -hmm. Growing up in Africa is different when you try to uh, abroad. That's why, and then once I got opportunity to move to Manila, I decided to be here. Okay. Tell us, what was it like in your hometown where you grew up? What are some of the things you used to do back living in Cameroon? Oh, uh, you know, living uh, at home. Like, like I do a lot of things at the same time. Like playing soccer, and your study, and that, that, that's, it. that's it. Okay, all right. So you went to school when you were back yeah. in the States. That's right, in uh, Cameroon. Yeah. All right, very good. Thanks for sharing that. So what other places have you traveled to? You're from Cameroon, now live in the Philippines. Can you tell us some other places you've traveled to or lived in before in the past? All right. Um, I've been to uh, like, uh, different countries. So, like, I can say in Africa, in Asia also. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, um, probably uh, what can in Asia, I mean Singapore, Singapore. Singapore, Singapore countries. Okay. And then um, I, right now I'm in Philippines. I can say in Africa, I mean uh, Ethiopia, Nigeria, and then all those countries. Okay, very good. Which country was your favorite? Did you like the best? Ah, uh, the first. Uh, I can say right now it's uh, Manila. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean Philippines. Philippines. Yeah. Okay, all right, moving forward, um, thinking about when you grew up in Cameroon and where you live now in the Philippines, can you give us a comparison? Can you tell us um, what are some of the different things you've noticed between living here in the Philippines and living back in Cameroon? Um, it's not a bit like differences, but uh, there are some stage of life, just try to uh, uh, Beyond that, right now, like in Cameroon, you just like life is so simple because you got the family there, you grow up, and then just all you do this, do that, compared to the Philippines. You are the one to decide it, what you're gonna do. And then people are also there because people are like white people, and then and black, for example, if I'm, I can say that about skin, and then when you arrive somewhere, you need to study how life's going. Right. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna be on that. It's gonna be like a study, a student. So you're gonna study how people are. Uh, they are sociable, and then so. Okay. I think that's the point right now uh, in politics. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Thank you for sharing that. How do you feel as a black person living and working here in the Philippines? For you, for yourself. Okay. How do I feel? Mm -hmm. uh, I feel. Uh, I feel good. Mm -hmm. Cause, cause uh, the world standard not gonna be uh, like Africa. 
-hmm. and then like uh, also when it comes to uh, uh, I mean the, 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 the comfort area working area is kind of appropriate for the people okay, so compared to uh, Africa here is comfortable that's why right, so Okay. Is that, is that the point? Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it. Okay. All right. So here is more comfortable working here than Africa. Yeah. How about maybe like salary? Salary is higher. Salary, right? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, oh, we got, we got like uh, all the things, not that much of conditions. And then we got like uh, insurance clear and then all those. So right. I think here is more better. Okay. Better than Africa. Insurance, uh, yeah. the standard of living. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. Um. Moving forward a little bit, um, what kind of jobs or businesses do you see other black people doing? So, so we have Nando's Barbershop here. Any other jobs and businesses? Because someone who's thinking about coming to Manila, what can they invest in? What kind of work can they do? So what kind of uh, jobs or businesses have you seen other black people in here in Manila and in the Philippines? In fact, I, I, I saw Nando's shop in an investment. Right, ah, and then okay. we go like black people are also working in the different companies like the car center, and then also, and then some are like a uh, restaurant, African restaurant, African restaurants, and then okay, also. so okay, all right. So, the African restaurants, like what kind of food do they serve? Yeah, what, uh, what, what kind of cultures? Like, maybe we have a uh, Cameroonian restaurant, exactly. We got a Cameroonian restaurant here in Manila, especially here in McCarthy. So okay. we got like a Africa, a Cameroon dish, yeah. dishes like uh, uh, Oko, Dole, mm -hmm. and uh, all those things. You can find it here around the country. Okay, and close Africa to the barbershop. There yeah. Alright, great. Okay, um, can you tell me one thing that you really love or enjoy about living in the Philippines from the time that you've been here? Uh, in my side, First of all, I would like to say that if we are the Philippines people, they are kind of sociable so that you can understanding each other and then the approaches. So when you are when it comes to of are fun, are uh, nice, and then the good dishes. So Philippines love the standard is not that much expensive. Mm -hmm. So I think for me that's the point. Right. And the good, uh, I mean. I don't the, know. the best, most the positive, best, exactly. most positive side of living in the living in Philippines. Great. Okay. All right. Um, before we wrap up, last thing. In the future, five years from now, in five years, where will you be? What do you want to have already finished, accomplished? I did this. I did that. Five years from now, in the future, what's coming up for you? Okay, uh, yeah, right now I could not, I could not, I could not specify because I got projects, a lot of projects, and then I just try to be uh, work on that. Mm -hmm. I'm still working on that right now, so uh, which I'm gonna uh, finalize that, and then uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, I don't know what's gonna be in five years time. Okay. So, All right, that's it. Um, Dominique, yeah. Cameroon. Alright, Black Asian Magazine, thank you very much. You're welcome, sir.